Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to set up encrypted traffic between load balancer and the application subnet. So for this encrypted traffic, we will have to use HTTPS with port 443. In the last video, we have seen how to set up unencrypted traffic using port 80 with HTTP as a protocol. So let's jump to OCI console and continue with the rest of the steps. So the first thing you will have to do is you will have to attach or add the certificate bundle. Because I don't have any certificate bundle with me, I will go and create one for you. So let's go to uh, the putty. I have connected to my Baston subnet and I'm going to run some commands. So instead of typing manually, I'll just copy paste them, uh, copy paste those command. So the first thing is uh, we are generating the RSA private key. Using that, I'm basically writing the key at the writing RSA key is done. Next thing is I will generate server.csr, which will be required to generate the certificate. For this, I need to give some input parameters. I'll just give one and keep rest of the things as blank. And the last thing is I'll pass server CSR as the input and key as the input that I have generated in the earlier step and generate the server certificate. So I have all this uh, information created with me. Now let's go and add that certificate bundle. So I'll name it as certificate. I'll paste my SSL certificate. So I'll give cat server.crt. I'll, I'll copy the content, ensure that there are no spaces. And if you have a CA certificate, uh, ensure that you attach it over here. If I, as I don't have, I'm not uploading and I'm just uploading or attaching the private key. So I will take server.key. I'll copy the content, ensuring that there are no spaces uh, selected. I'll leave the passphrase as blank because I have not given any passphrase when I generated the private key and I'll click on add certificate. So the request is submitted. Let's see the status of the certificate, uh, whether it completes without any error. Okay, Crea creation of the certificate is done. Now, before we create a listener with port 443, one thing we need to ensure is we need to make a small change to our security list that we have created for our load balancer. So I'll go to my security list in the security list for load balancer. I need to ensure that I make a entry for my port 443 and that is the only change you have to make. This is required to allow the uh, encrypted traffic. Okay. I have given... All right, once this is done, now let's, let's go to load balancer. I'll go and create a new listener. So our current listener, if you see, is running on port 80. I'll create a new listener. I'll name it as secured. I'll use HTTPS as a protocol. The bundle that we have created is automatically picked up. I'll select the backend set and I'll click on create listener. So creating the listener is in progress. I'll reload the page. Okay, so creation of the listener is completed successfully. Let's go and see the listener. So we have a listener on port 80 and we have one on 443. Now, we will see whether it is accept this IP, which is the same, uh, whether it is accepting the traffic or using HTTPS. So initially we tried uh, with port 80 using HTTP as a protocol. Let me see on HTTPS whether it accepts or not. So if you see it has given some error, that is because uh, you have not uploaded the CA certificate. So if I click on not secure, it says your certificate is not valid. If you want to get rid of this error, you need to upload a valid CA certificate. 
but because I know that this certificate is created by me only and it is valid, I'll click on advanced and click on proceed. And if you see, it is navigating to application two. If I refresh, it is navigating to application one. So it is accepting the HTTPS protocol and uh, what you say encrypted traffic via 443. Now, what you can do is if you want to completely, uh, you know, get rid of the unencrypted traffic, you can remove this entry of 80 from here. And what it will do is it will not allow any unencrypted traffic uh, that will come from outside. So in this video, what we have seen is uh, how you can set up the un uh, how you can set up the encrypted traffic using HTTPS as a protocol and port 443 and how to set up the unencrypted traffic is something that we have already seen in our earlier video. If you have any questions around this topic, drop them in the comment section and I will be happy to address this. I will be happy to address uh, those questions. Thank you so much for watching this video.